at this rate, I'll be going home having lost weight on a cruise. Could you imagine? It is a very good morning from the first of our island destinations on this cruise. And today we're visiting Curacao and the town of Willemstad. So both Dave and I slept a little bit better last night, but still not great. Yeah, so we both woke up. Well, the ship, I think, anchored off the coast of Curacao at about half six maybe six o'clock actually so we decided to jump up go and have a look around as the sun was rising which was stunning we had some breakfast at the back of the international marketplace and just sat out there we are in so we we're in curacao for the best part of the day i think we're due to um be able to get off the ship from 9 a.m and we have to be back on by half past six this evening you can see the women setting up ready for the uh to sell their wares. <laughs> I might get a lovely beaded ankle bracelet. Oh, lovely. Yeah, do you want an ankle bracelet? I have worn an ankle bracelet for years, actually, yeah. after my backpacking days, <laughs> and I only stopped wearing it when it fell off. Maybe it's time to get another one. <laughs> <laughs> mm, maybe not. So the time now is quarter to nine. We're due to be getting off the ship from nine o'clock. We're in no rush because we haven't got any tours, excursions, but we're gonna go for a walk into a town. Um, so we'll probably just hold fire here and let everyone else rush off as soon as they can. And then we'll just mosey on down in a bit, I think. But it is very interesting, it's very novel, even after a day, when you suddenly come out and you're like, oh, there's land, there's people. I'm looking forward to stepping off, actually. Yes, I hope you don't fall over. And we're on land. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, I, I didn't get any strange feeling when I got off. I just got off. Yeah. So I'm just holding on to the hats whilst we walk across here because I'm sure quite a few have blown off into there at some point. That water though, look at it. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. So getting off a ship was really straightforward, nice and easy, wasn't it? It was much easier than I was expecting. So you literally just had your card scanned and yeah. walked off. And we've come out and are walking along this path towards the town. Plenty of vendors, taxis, shops selling all of the things you need to buy, obviously. We're not buying anything from these shops. <laughs> not some Pandora? No, we don't need any of them. Because <laughs> I've said that now, it'll be me that buys something. Yeah. So there are seven of these stops along the historical walking tour along the front here. Which I know you're already interested in. Yeah, I was thinking, oh god, are we going to have to stop seven times to read that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Just sitting here, having a little rum punch. We haven't made it very far yet, at all, but <laughs> we haven't got a rush, so... I mean, it's definitely a port that makes a good first impression, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's like, it, you feel like very Caribbean instantly. Yeah. In, like, where we got on in Barbados, that really like industrial yes. stuff, where this is just kind of like... It's like a warehouse. Like, you're straight in amongst it all. So having walked from the ship to this area, we're going to go over to the Rift Fort Festival, which is an old historic fort used to defend the island. It's now a shopping mall, I think. 
I'm learning all of this as we go along. Just I know. <laughs> just call me Jane McDonald. <laughs> Where okay. Yeah. And I think we're going to go up as well. So up there somewhere, there's some really good lookouts and views. So you've got a whole range of shops in here, restaurants, bars. And yeah, over here, I think we can go up and then look out. So you come up here to a steak and ribs restaurant, but there's also some good lookout points as well. So you can go like up all the levels all the way around. So we've got a Harley Davidson shop there. Do you want to go and get some Harley Davidson merch? No. <laughs> I'm sure later on when the bars and restaurants are open it'll be a bit more lively but it is a cool little area just to walk through as you're making your way to the main harbour. So this bridge that we can see here, it's a floating pontoon bridge, meaning that it moves to let ships up and down the uh, river there. So you can see there's already a ship past it. So yeah, several times a day, that bridge will just move to let traffic on. So that's one of the main attractions, I think, of Willemstad. Yeah, so the Queen, Queen, Queen Emma Bridge, oh. also known as the Old Swinging Lady, which makes me think of Emma Spencer. Sorry, Emma. Let's head up here, and then we're going to go across the bridge. And look, that is picture postcard Caribbean. I and that's it, we're now on the bridge. So even though it's a floating bridge on pontoons, it's very stable underfoot. So if you're worried about feeling anxious or nervous about it, it's okay. So as you can see, this whole bridge will have swung around from that, that ship up the river there. So that's the Ida Diva. That's the second Diva in port this morning. <laughs> it's very clever. And if the bridge is not operating for any reason and it's open, then there is a ferry which goes just literally across and back from one side of Willemstadt to the other. It's like I've got a free tour, guys, on this trip. I know, I've been doing my research. And I did point it out earlier, but now I'm a bit closer, you can see. So that is the Queen Juliana Bridge there with the traffic going over, which is uh, the highest, if not one of the highest bridges in the Caribbean. Because we haven't got to be back on the ship till half six and sunset is around six. So we will come down, we'll be back, we'll be back on the ship in plenty of time, don't worry. But we'll come down later when it's getting a bit darker because you can see there's light all the way along here. So I think when it's lit up, it looks really pretty. So here we are in uh, Prince Punda, which is the downtown and art district. And you'll see just here, you've got the Punda Love Hearts, which is an art installation. And you've got a few like sculptures. So we've had a walk around uh, Willemstad now for about an hour. We've had a look at the Rift Fort, we've gone through the uh, across the bridge and around the other side. To be fair, I think we've seen as much as I thought we were going to see today. And we've still got plenty of time. So I think we're going to now just go and find somewhere to have a little sit down, have a drink, maybe see if we get some Wi-Fi, and then just take it easy. I think it's very, definitely if you're here for a full day, it's great, but 
if you are in either this port right here, or if you're in a mega port, it's a very easy 10 minute walk to get back to the ship. So you can definitely nip on and off a few times just to, to do what you want without kind of being like you're out for the full day, kind of bring all your stuff with you, which is, which is good. So being here by the water, it looks lush. If there's any chance that we can get in for a little dip, and I think we both would like to. Um, but if not, then we'll, we'll just hold on for one more day because tomorrow is when we're going to Aruba and there will definitely be some uh, swimming in the sea there, which I cannot wait. I think I just want to wave. And all this water that you see over here in the ocean, it was rooting all over here. And there was a tall city wall. It's getting real hard to breathe. I gotta move on, gotta move on right now. I feel the pressure. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? yeah. What a racket. <laughs> You've been waiting a while, haven't you? We've been waiting. I say, like, close to an hour. Yeah. Some nachos. Or some nachos. Honestly, at this rate, I'll be going home having lost weight on a cruise. Could you imagine? Oh, this is this that shows. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Worth the wait? We shall see. Yeah, these are not just like a packet of Doritos, are they? No, they're obviously really not like home now, don't I? Hmm. <laughs> So that was absolutely delicious. Clean plates all around. Mm -mm -mm. Whether or not it was worth the hour wait, I'm not sure. But we sit here, enjoying enjoying uh, being surrounded by all that's going on, and that was really a fresh, tasty food. Let's go buy some spirits. We don't need. <laughs> Rum, raisin, chocolate, and coffee. Wow. Some Venezuelan rum. I mean, it's just going to look the same inside as all the others, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? But the fact that it's like in this nice white bottle. Yeah. Oh, right. What? When did I get so blind? I didn't see this coming. just the sound of the little bell to tell you you can't cross the bridge anymore and it closed the gates. So the boat is just, well, the ferry is just going to go across the river uh, as the bridge is open. So we thought, why not? William, William's dad? 
I'm on the ferry. Yes? <laughs> Ferry's on the ferry. <laughs> So I think it's still going to be far too light for the, uh, the bridge or anything lit up. Not going to get dark <laughs> yeah. for a while. So. No, which is fine. I'm not complaining about it being sunny. It's really nice. Walk fast with this, and then a mass of people all coming towards you. And that's it, as we are stepping back onto the ship, saying goodbye to Curacao. Tomorrow, see they're stopping at Aruba, which is probably going to be my highlight of the trip. And it was a whole point, you know, I was looking at this cruise, so that's very exciting tomorrow. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I'm very excited. Oh, well done. <laughs> a full sentence. Yeah. <laughs> It is now getting a bit busier, as it's only just about an hour and a bit until everyone needs to be back on board. Hello. Hello. I'm filming up on a buffet. I'm there. Yes. So we've got it all set up here, ready for movie by moonlight. Oh, what movie? Downton Abbey. <laughs> As soon as I said that, I was like, no, it's So that's on it. I mean, half nine? It's just far too late. Yeah. Thank you. So we went to a school on anchor. Obviously, we had to work our way through the cocktail menu, so it had quite a few drinks there. Had a little shot of tequila. Tomorrow is Aruba. Very, very exciting, very fun day ahead of us. It's a bucket list for me, so I'm uh, really looking forward to that and I hope you'll enjoy it too. But for now, I'm gonna say good night. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>